Good morning, modern steaders. It's a balmy 18 degrees out this morning, but don't worry. We got our fire going in the house. It's nice and warm in here. Oh, we need to go outside and get the smoker going so we can fire up the smoker and get some bacon in it. Let's give Pluto one of her dog treats, see how she likes it. Oh, she smells it. Sit. Tell you what, it's gonna be cold out there. I'm gonna put my man scarf on. You can laugh at me all you want, but I'll be warm. Gina laughed at me when I bought this. I always catch her wearing it though. Now I'm ready. All right, let's get this fire going, and then we can go check on the piglets. Let's get that right out of our way for now. I'm looking to get a good hot bed of coals going. Now I'm no smoke master here. This is the first time we'll be using our cold smoker. But I want to have a good bed of coals going. And then I can put my applewood on there and get the bacon in the smoker and get everything smoking. While that's going good, let's close it up. Let it get burning nice. Let's go check on the pigs and see how they did for their first night here. It's smoking. I don't see them. I'm assuming they're hiding in that hay somewhere. Oh, I hear them. Well, they hurt me, I should say. Good morning, girls. Are you in there? I see some ears. Good morning. How'd you do? Bet you stayed nice and warm. The other pig is back there. I wouldn't want to get out either if I was you. Don't on my behalf. So we have our bacon and jowl bacon that we cured. That piece of bacon was cured with maple syrup, salt, and pepper. This bacon slab was cured with brown sugar, salt, and pepper. The jowl bacon was cured with brown sugar, salt, and pepper. And this one has juniper berries on it. Let's get them in the smoker and get some applewood on it. Now we have apple wood from pruning our apple trees that we're going to be putting on the fire. One of the things that's nice about this wood stove is we can open the top of it and let out the heat and just keep the smoke going into the smoker. Thank you. 
It's smoking nicely. What's the temperature? I'd say 60-ish degrees. Nice. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah. We're gonna leave the bacon in the smoker for between two and four hours. We need to move the chicken tractors off the field before they freeze here and they're stuck on our sledding hill all winter long. I'm hoping they're not frozen too much to the ground right now. Gina was watching yesterday's video last night and she told me I should have named the channel a guy and his tractor. I do everything with the tractor. Ooh. We have a few repairs to make come springtime. We already had one of the winter storms we got rip off the bottom board that goes to the plastic that blew over on this side. And then our rope broke when we were taking the shop corner to get it in place. It caught on my tire chain and ripped, but that's an easy fix come springtime. Let's see, this coop held up really good. I broke the screen with the tractor, I guess. That's an easy repair, we'll do that come springtime. I'm hoping by having them in this little corner that the wind will get them less. Out there in the field, that winter wind that we already started getting was just wrecking havoc on the coops. Let's go check on the smoker before we start getting New York City ready to move. Let's see how it's doing. It's a little warm. It's above 100 degrees. So we're gonna go mess with the fire to cool it back off. Let's check on the meat. Oh, it looks delicious. Yep, it's been on for a little over an hour. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. All right, I can see the fire going pretty good. Yep, that's our issue. So 
I'll take the door off so you can see better. What I've been doing when this happens is I just remove the good burning wood from the fire. Funny story this morning, I was cooking some pasture-raised bacon, home fries, and eggs from New York City. And Gina was going out to breakfast with some girlfriends this morning. And the restaurant she was going for, she's like, do you know what they serve? I said, no. It's a cafe. Let me check online. It's a vegetarian cafe. There's no meat in their breakfast or their sandwiches. As I'm preparing the bacon to go in the smoker. I said, I think you need to bring this with you and ask them if they'll cook it for you. Vegetarian restaurant. <laughs> Good grief. That's smoking nicely. Oh, it's just a beautiful sight. Opening the smoker and seeing some nice bacon. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Let's go get New York City. I picked up all the electric netting, and I didn't do it on camera because no matter how hard I try, I can't look sexy doing it. I look like a fool, so we didn't need to see that again. Yep, she's frozen. I think he needs some more horsepower. He's gonna have to take a different route. But he's determined. Take the water off. Right, let's give it a try again.
car right here. Oh, ice. Yeah. That probably weighed, I don't know, a couple hundred pounds. Mm. We made it! You did. I hope that was the hardest part. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right. so I'm going to go up and then I'm going to back it in and look at the green greenhouse. Behind the greenhouse. Behind the greenhouse. So I won't be able to see so I'll just walk through these two trees to make sure I'm not going to hit anything too bad. Too bad? Too bad. Not You got this tree right here. Yeah. This tree. Yeah, so you now we gotta, gotta get it tilted. Those yeah. So you got past those two trees. You just gotta get past. I said you got past those two trees. Well, two. Yeah. Okay. We got. you can get. What's that? I think it's closer you're gonna be able to get. I don't know. It's pretty good. You can probably get over a little bit more after maybe after you go and pull up forward. You have to crawl through the coop to get out. What? Cold out. What, did you come out to see the pigs? I don't see them. I haven't seen them. They're hiding. You think I'm lying to you? Why to get the bread, Olivia? Okay. They'll figure it out after a little while. That'll do for today. So the chickens are in the start of the winter chicken coop. There's Andy. The fence is on, so watch out. Ready to go feed him some bread? You gotta name them, or say which one's name is who. They're buried in hay, inside the tote. Did they get away? Did they escape? <gasps> See if they want some bread. You get out? What's that? So would you get out? You would. Not that cold. I wouldn't. They're all furry. Papa. Papa. All right. I guess they don't want to come out. What are their names? Which one's which, too? The black one's Copa. Okay. And then the one that looks like a cow is Prosciutto. It's Prosciutto. Awesome. And his nickname is Shudo. Is Shudo? <laughs> Copa and Prosciutto. Shudo. For short. All right. P. P. P and C. C and P. Maybe they'll come out in a little bit and eat some bread. Oh, I'm moving. Have to insert some photos here. <laughs> They're comfy in there.
Dạ, ông cố It's Andy. Hopefully he goes back in the coop tonight to sleep. You better go in the coop tonight, Andy. We have a birthday party to go to, so we don't have any more time to get the coop ready. But at least New York City is up. We'll let the chickens free range until we get it completely finished. We just gotta keep our fingers crossed they go in at night and roost. And look, they decided to come out. They ate all the bread. So we have prosciutto and copa. You like the frozen apples? Yep. They want to get back in the greenhouse. They just don't know how they got out. Oh, chickens are funny. Oh, you guys. <sighs> The bacon's been smoking for four and a half hours. We're gonna go get it out of the smoker, in the fridge. Then we got a birthday party we're going to. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks delicious. Delicious. Oh, look at that. Did you look at that? Mm. Smell good. And not drop this. Oh yes. Look at the yellow. Beautiful. Stick it in the refrigerator, it'll cool down and it'll be easier for slicing. We'll have to slice it up tomorrow.